is going on guys brand here coming at you guys with a brand new video guys and here is my first video of season 7 basically and in today's video guys we're going to be talking about how to level up fast in season 7 either if it's tier progress battle pass progress for your upgrades and the most important one would be the level so here in today's video we're going to show you guys all of the best tips and tricks for you guys can improve your level be at a high level Make sure you guys are having the full progress for your whole skins and all that very quickly and finish. So if this video does help you guys out, make sure you guys drop a like, guys, subscribe, turn on notifications, guys. We're on the road to 20k. But before we get started, y'all, let me take a look at the item shop yesterday night. It's oh, so bad, guys. I really thought we we're going to get new skins, but hopefully today, this Friday night, we'll probably get some like a new emo or probably a new skin, which are pretty doubt and then we'll probably get the new skins on actually saturday so be on the lookout for that we'll be live streaming but yeah so yeah guys so um season seven whole wise has been pretty good you know we got the whole battle pass if you guys ask me what battle pass uh i mean what battle pass tier i am basically i'm tier 18 right now i'm currently sitting at a level 15 which is not bad because i didn't buy the whole battle pass bundle or i didn't buy the whole tiers because if you guys do get the the tiers you guys get like 100 xp plus and all that so if you, you tv like i bought the normal one the 950 one so if you you know it's okay i mean i'm at a good level right now i'm at level 15 i'm at a good range i'm not really like kind of ahead of someone but you know i'm kind of not behind as well so we're getting up there you know if i'm more with that 20 once we're at that 20 mark we're gonna be good but yeah hey so today guys we're gonna show you guys the best tips and tricks guys and i'm pretty sure most of you guys are probably known for these tips and tricks already but um it's been changing in the last couple of seasons in fortnite i don't know if you guys been noticing uh, and you, i don't know if you guys been looking at your tab it's like when you guys finish a game you press square it shows your progress how much xp what type of xp numbers you got from actual like kills and game time and all that so one of the most common thing when like when you're playing a game obviously because you gotta play games obviously to gain xp one of the most common xp numbers that you do get is survival time i don't know if you guys were aware of that but the more survival time that you guys get in an actual like match obviously you're gonna get way more xp obviously the more you last the lot like top 10 that's gonna give you a lot of xp and let's say you're like a top uh, like top 20 range you'll you'll get like eventually like around 200 xp from that which is pretty good try and stay alive guys try and be like in the top 20 range you guys will get like a little good progress towards your uh level leveling up for your xp and all that um and then there's another one where's uh eliminations you guys are pretty uh, i mean that's basically the most basic one eliminations you see in any other game like let's say call of duty call of duty is like the important one for kills to get xp but in this game fortnite you really like i've seen this from experience like when i've seen like the whole tab xp page come up i've seen this for already and like let's say you were to drop like a 10 kill which is a solid kill game right there 10 kills could give you like a decent amount of xp but like, like let's say you get more than 10 kills you're not gonna really expect a lot of xp from that you're basically gonna expect like the same XP that you got from like 10 kills or something which would be like around I believe it's like literally like a hundred XP guys I'm not even joking you guys will eventually get like a hundred XP just from 10 eliminations so eliminations is not really like a good I mean obviously everybody wants kills in this game you know everything really counts so I mean you could go for high kill games but just saying that high kill games and all that doesn't really benefit your whole battle pass upgrade because or your level upgrade it only gives you like 200 xp at most and then we got another one guys we got um what is it got an elimination that's kind of that's kind of the same as the whole elimination thing but i'm pretty sure this one you actually do get i think it's less i believe so it's basically like getting an elimination like every game you know it gives you like a little 50 xp 50 points and all that so pretty common and then you guys know, guys, I don't know like, if you guys are aware of this, of playing with squads with friends or actually duos. Because obviously solos, you're just by yourself with the battle pass. But I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but if you're playing uh, duos or squads with someone that actually has the battle pass and like actually has like 70 XP or like 100 XP, which 
he probably bought the whole battle pass uh, tier. So you, obviously, when you buy the battle pass tiers, you get 100 XP. When you play with someone or a full squad that has the battle pass, or even has more XP progress than you normally have, your that your your squad will benefit your XP as well. I don't know if you guys are aware of that, but this been this been going on since like season two. Not many people catch this because it doesn't really tell you in the uh, the pop up page. But when your friends have the whole battle pass and they have like at least seventy or more than seventy, like a hundred XP. They're obviously going to benefit your whole progress towards your uh, leveling up and your whole battle pass tiers and all that. Like getting your battle pass stars up and all that. For you guys can get your upgrades. That actually gives you a lot of XP guys. Like if you know a friend, a, a whole squad of your friends that have the battle pass and have like more XP progress. They don't really have to have more than you but just make sure they have the battle pass. I mean even if it's only one missing who doesn't really have the battle pass. It's not really going to like destroy your whole xp like you're not gonna get nothing at all the the people with the battle pass is still gonna benefit your xp progress so it's pretty dope to actually like get benefited from your friends just because they have more xp than you which it's pretty cool and obviously the last one would be wins guys a lot of i mean wins wins is a big like big big change for xp but not like i want to say it's like big main main the main one would probably be it playing with squads and then getting the wins so um playing a lot would obviously benefit as well but you know some people barely even have time to play this game so but eventually if you guys have friends you guys get some wins it's obviously going to give you some good progress like if, uh, guys i only got like legit three wins last night on stream which is pretty like whack i ain't gonna lie a lot of sweats and all that but i probably would, like let's be honest i would have been like at a level 18 if i had like a couple of like at least 10 wins last night so uh, be on the lookout for wins guys don't think uh, if you don't win you're not gonna XP and all that you still get XP for everything you do in the game um, make sure you guys are getting your wins alright not many people really like go for wins they just mess around thinking you're gonna get high kills and the high kills will benefit your XP doesn't work like that guys you guys gotta get wins towards your whole XP progress and then the last one guys would be the, obviously the most like basic one when you you know when you guys hit tier 100 um you guys don't you guys will not be granted like secret stars or like uh let's say like secret uh, it would be secret stars and secret banners instead you guys will be awarded xp for your challenges challenges take a big role guys of this make sure you guys are completing your daily challenges if you guys don't know how that works it pops up under your level thing guess yeah i completed all of them last night so They'll pop up every daily day, and um, you guys can also press, I believe it's start. But obviously, I don't got a chance. But you can also eliminate challenges, daily challenges that you don't like, and then it will give you a new one. Make sure you guys do those challenges, because when you guys do those challenges, not those, also the weekly challenges, you guys can also gain an easy 5k XP. And I don't know if you guys seen it, but when you guys were level 1, I'm pretty sure everybody was a level 1 yesterday when you guys, uh, when the servers went up for the whole season 7, the new season. Uh, just to hit level 2, it was literally like 500 XP, which, just look how much this gives you, 5k XP, you would have been like at a level, I mean, I don't know how much it hits to hit level 3, but you would have been like a level 5 already if you were to do your challenges, so weekly challenges and daily challenges take a big role of your level progress, and also, when you guys are completing your battle pass, you guys know when you guys hit tier 100, you guys will not be granted like rewards no more because you already have everything unlocked so instead of that every like unlock progress would actually be xp so that actually is pretty good on that because basically people who have purchased the whole battle pass which people did last night in the whole season they already are a high level because they have an uh like 120 xp bonus and then the normal would be 60 or 70 70 xp which that's the one i have i could show you guys why can't you see this little news thing? I'm pretty sure I'm like at 70 XP. And then you guys know people. People who bought the battle pass, they have an advantage just because, you know, they got more upgrades. They're going to get more XP than you. So just because of their 120 XP bonus. So well, I don't know. That's if you want to buy it. But yeah. But yeah, that's basically all it, guys. Pretty simple. I mean, it's pretty common sense. Pretty sure. If there is like more tips, let me know down in the comments that I don't know. Make sure you guys do remind me. But 
hopefully this did help you guys out if it did make sure to drop a like subscribe turn on notifications guys this season we're just going to come up with a lot of tutorials to help you guys out so hopefully you guys join the journey guys we're on the road to 20k appreciate all the support guys and i just want to say i'll be live later today so be on the lookout for that man but yeah man thank you guys for watching guys it's been brian you guys signing out peace Take out your bitch cause you lose your face Bitch where I'm from, how your niggas gon' play If it ain't your niggas, they clutch some case Fuck all these hoes, I don't style my face I can't fuck with you, too busy to be paid All of my niggas keep it on the